In our first video of today's lesson, you will be introduced to the hiragana and katakana characters you need to say common classroom phrases. After this set of notes, you will be able to read and write all 46 hiragana characters and their related syllables. You will also be able to read and write four more katakana characters and their related syllables. Again, a slow kana day means heavy vocabulary days. After today, you should know all of the hiragana, so we're going to start learning Japanese at a much faster rate. Our first character today is the most difficult character to animate, nu. It is also pretty hard to get the spatial relationships correct when writing, too. It's two strokes. The first stroke is the same as the first stroke of me. It stops. Stroke two is almost like stroke two of me, but instead of ending in a tail, it ends in a loop and stops. Like wa, re, and ne, the difference between me and nu is the ending of the final stroke. Be careful. Let's try this together. Stroke one goes down to the right and stops. Stroke two is a couple of curly loops and it stops. Nu. Everyone knows the best way to eat noodles is with chopsticks. Good luck. No, we haven't actually seen this character yet. We have learned the katakana he, but this is the hiragana he. They look pretty much the same. Some fonts will make the katakana character more angular, but that's about it. A lot of students ask, how do you tell if it's hiragana or katakana? I always say, look at the characters around it. Of course, does it really matter? They're both pronounced the same. Just like the katakana character, he is a single stroke, and it stops. This should be easy after all our practice with the katakana he. Our only stroke goes up and down and stops. He. As with the katakana character, he points the way to heaven. Our absolutely final hiragana character is o. It is three strokes. The first two strokes look like a small chi. The third stroke looks like the second stroke of to. Notice the pronunciation. The W is in parentheses. That's because it's found in the same column as wa, hence the W, but the W is hardly pronounced. This is one of those characters that is hard to get the spacing correct. Practice it well. Stroke one is horizontal about a quarter of the way down in the box. Stroke two is like stroke two of chi, but it doesn't curve as much at the bottom. Stroke three is a smaller version of stroke two of to. Whoa. This is Cowboy Bill. He's on a mechanical bull saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. What a wimp. That's all the hiragana characters there are to learn. However, he is from the hagyo. Its pronunciation can be altered by using the dakuten and the han dakuten. Just like the katakana he, adding the dakuten gives you be, and adding the han dakuten gives you pe. Have you noticed that all the consonant sounds of characters from the hagyo become b sounds with the dakuten and p sounds with the han dakuten? What are the patterns for the other gyo? We're done for the day, so let's review. Here is the full hiragana table again, and here are the characters we've learned so far. Wait, that's all of them! Don't forget, there are also several characters that can have their sounds altered by adding dakuten and han dakuten. With the addition of he, this table is also complete! <gasps> As you remember, we completed the palatal syllables table a couple of lessons ago. Remember that like the sokuon, the characters from the yagyo are in different places when writing vertically, as in this table, than when writing horizontally, as in this table. That's it. We're done with hiragana. That doesn't mean you stop practicing reading and writing the characters. It just means you won't learn anymore. We'll also keep introducing katakana and kanji throughout the school year, but at a much slower rate. Take some time to memorize these last few characters, 
and review all of the others, then move on to the second video.